The Smithsonian is coming to the Wabash Valley, but not in a way you may think. Riverscape has been selected by Indiana Humanities to host a traveling exhibit. It will highlight water and the valley's connections to it. Sherry McBroom spoke with Riverscape on what the exhibits will look like and the story they will aim to describe. The Wabash River has created not only history to the city of Terre Haute, but also importance, which is the story Riverscape is hoping to tell. Fred Nation, vice president of Riverscape, says the history of this body of water is centered around the fact that it is the largest free-flowing river in the state. A lot of the industry we have in this area is because of the Wabash River, the wetlands, and the large aquifer. So we want to tell that story so that people better understand the importance of maintaining water, maintaining the cleanliness of our water, and maintaining the natural filtration system. Riverscape Terre Haute was chosen as one of six cities by Indiana Humanities to host the Smithsonian exhibit entitled Waterways. The exhibits will include freestanding panels, electronics, and hands-on materials to interact with. The idea is that we want to bring, um, uh, you know, public uh, scholarship that might happen on universities and campuses, bring that to the public. So, you know, life, we want lifelong learning conversations that uh, can continue, um, you know, outside of campuses or outside of school. To help better tell the story of the Wabash, Riverscape will be working with the Vigo County Historical Society, the Vigo County Public Library, Swope Art Museum, and the Children's Museum. The story of water in America, the story of water in the Midwest, and we will be enlisting uh, a lot of uh, partners here in the Vigo County area. We are so lucky to be on the largest free-flowing river east of the Mississippi. With local news that matters, I'm DeSherry McBroom, WTWO. Now, you'll have to wait a while before you see the exhibits because they won't be here until November, and it'll be located at West Vigo Elementary School.